Sa mga mathematical proving, meron tayong ma- proving sa trigonometry wherein nag-prove tayo ng mga identities. Sa geometry, nag-prove din tayo ng mga postulates at sa mga corollary. Now, ngayon naman, mag, uh, gagawa naman tayo ng isa pang proving, but this time, ito yung tinatawag na mathematical induction. Now, in proving sequence using mathematical inductions, we follow um, three steps. Yung step one natin, na gagamitin natin mamaya, is to prove the sequence is true for n is equal to 1. Now, pag nasatisfy nyo yung step number one, you'll move on to step number two, wherein you need to evaluate the sequence for n equal to k. And for the last step, yung pinaka-importante sa lahat, you need to prove that the sequence is true for n equal to k plus one. Now, para mas maunawaan nyo yung mga steps ng mathematical induction, kailangan natin ng isang example. By definition, a method of mathematical induction is a technique for proving a statement, a theorem, or a formula. Now, for this particular example, ang gagawin natin is we need to prove using mathematical induction na yung sequence na 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus the formula is n is equal to n times n plus 1 all over 2. Now, gaya nung mga steps na pinakita ko, yung unang steps, yung step 1 and step 2, yung pinakamadaling steps sa method na to. So, sa unang step, kailangan nyo lang gawin is to prove that the sequence is true for n equal to 1. So, ang kailangan nyo gawin, yung mga n nyo, replace nyo ng 1, and if the left side is equal to the right-hand side, then that means yung step 1 nyo is na-satisfy. So, for this example, we have n equal to n times n plus 1 all over 2. So, ito yung formula na pinuprove natin. So, pag ni-replace natin yung mga n ng 1, so you'll have 1 equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 all over 2. At pag sinimplify nyo yung function nyo, you'll have 1 equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So, ibig sabihin yung step 1 yung na-satisfy. So, we're ready to move on to our next step, which is evaluating your sequence for n equal to k. So, sa step 2 naman, yan yung pinakamadali sa tatlong steps kasi all you need to do is to replace all your variables from letter n to letter k. Now, ginagaw- ginagawa natin yung step number 2 para ma-visualize natin kung paano natin siya ipoprove doon sa k plus 1. So, in step number 2, direct substitution lang from your original sequence na 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n equal to n times n plus 1 all over 2. Pinalitan ko lahat ng n to k, kaya meron akong 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to k is equal to k times k plus 1 all over 2. So walang mathematical procedure involved dito. Direct substitution lang yung ginagawa natin for n, changing it into k para ma-prepare natin yung ating proof for step number 3. Now, yung step number three, ang kailangan nyo ng uh, maraming solution. Kasi ito yung pinaka-komplikado at pinaka-mahirap na step among the three steps doon sa method of induction. Kasi ito na yung gagawin nating proof na totoo yung mga sequence natin doon sa given formula. So, from step number two, meron tayong 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to k equal to k times k plus 1 all over 2. Kailangan natin ngayon siya na ma-prove for k plus 1. So, all we have to do is to replace all our k's with k plus 1 and see if it will tr- be proven na totoo sa left side at saka sa right side. So, you have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus. This time, hindi na siya k. It's now k plus 1. Kaya dun sa pangalawa kong equation or sa pangalawang side ng equation ko, kung meron kong k times k plus 1 all over 2, ngayon meron na akong k plus 1 times k plus 1 plus 1, all over 2. Now, ito ngayon yung kailangan kong i-prove. Kailangan ko daw i-prove yung left-hand side eh, equal sa right-hand side. So, which means, itong sequence na to, kailangan magmukhang eksaktong kaparehas nitong sequence na nandito sa kaliwa or sa kanan. So, to do that, una natin gagawin is substitution. Kasi alam natin na itong sequence of number na to, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus all the way to k, is equal to k times k plus 1. So what we need to do is to replace the sequence into k times k plus 1 all over 2. And then, pag na-prove na natin yung, or na-replace na natin yung sequence natin, gagawin lang natin is to copy lahat ng mga natitira doon sa formula natin. Like yung k plus 1, equal to k plus 1 
times k plus 2 all over 2. So, mapapansin nyo, yung mga pluses ko dito na wala na, napalitan na lang siya ng k times k plus 1 all over 2, which is true for step number 2. And ang gagawin na lang natin is kailangan yung left-hand side is para sa right-hand side. And to do that, you need to do some mathematical steps and procedure to prove that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Now, meron tayong fraction dito sa step na to. So ang gagawin natin is to add this fraction using uh, the usual step of addition of fractions. So ang ginawa ko dito, nag Multiply ako diagonally ng uh, denominator nitong second fraction to your first at yung first to your seconds. Kaya meron ako ngayong k times k plus 1 kasi nag-multiply lang ako by itself. Plus yung 2 ko, imumultiply ko sa k plus 1 right here. Which is 2 times k plus 1 all over 2. So, sinimplify ko yung left-hand side by adding the fractions. That's why I have this as my ex expression. Now, dito sa kabilang side, wala akong binago kasi hin nasa simplest form pa rin naman siya, mamaya ko na lang siya gagalawin. So, since mas komplikado yung side na to, ito yung inuuna kong isimplify. So, from this point, kailangan ko na lang gawin is to simplify my numerator by distributive property. Kaya pag dinistribute ko to, I'll have k squared plus k plus 2k plus 2. And to further simplify your numerator, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng k squared plus 3k plus 2, which is a quadratic function. And to uh, make sure that this side is equal to the other side of the equation, minultiply ko yung binomial ko na k plus 1 times k plus 2, which gives me k squared plus 3k plus 2 all over 2. Kaya na-prove ko na yung sequence e true for all the counting numbers kasi yung left-hand side ko is equal to the right-hand side. At yan yung uh, step na kailangan yung matutunan in proving method of induction.